Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, I'm Gabby and I'm finally trying to film a weekly vlog. I hope it's gonna go well. But it's my third time trying to film this thing, this intro. It just didn't work, my phone is really really working against me, so yeah. But I wanted to start this weekly vlog by sharing some of the things that I got last week actually. But I didn't get a chance to share with you. I got a book, which it doesn't happen really often that I get a physical book, especially a new physical book. Usually I'll just read on here on my Kindle. I have all my little books there and I'm really happy with that. But I still love a physical copy, you know? I got The Grease Here by Kim Legit. This is about uh, girls that when they turn 16 they are sent to on to a wild to a wild forest because people believe that they have some sort of i don't know if scent i believe um and they lure men to them and people don't want that you know um so they are sent in this wild forest and they when they come back they are ready you know they're pure and they are ready to get married it sounds weird and creepy, so I'm really excited. And like I said, it's in my new physical books a lot, and I wish I could, but I found this in like the grocery store, and I was like so excited, and I just, I've been wanting to pick this book up. I've seen it around when it came out. Also, if you have Lidl where you live, uh, I got two like, um, what is what are these called? like a notebook type of thing I'm gonna use it for bullet journal it's this really pretty pastel pink and it has like blank pages I have one that's the same uh, type of page but just the cover it's different um, I have it somewhere but it's not here uh, but this I just fell in love with the color and also I got um, some what is called highlighters uh, they're really good um, I had some that were really old and I just like had to throw them away because they were really bad so I needed and the plus is the fact that they are made from uh, recycled material that's just so freaking fun and they were really cheap as well so if you have little close to you and they have something like this uh, just go and buy them they're really really good so reading wise I don't know exactly what I want to read I should probably continue with Oliver Twist, this is for the Dickens versus Tolstoy a read along that's hosted by Emma from Emmy and uh, Caroline from uh, Caroline Marie Reads uh, and also it is my classic book for the month. I should probably make some progress uh, because I'm, not really, I'm like 50 pages in and I should be done with it by the end of the month. It is the last full week of whatever you want to thon. I, I did um, manage to hit my goal of seven books, but I still want to read more, you know, just to get even more points. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. I really hope I will continue to update you. I've been so productive today, like right now it's like 6 30 in the afternoon finished editing a video finished making a thumbnail for this video i have to upload it right now so i'll link it up below because it's probably gonna be up when you see this video uh also i filmed two other videos so i've been so productive i'm really really proud of myself <laughs> Good morning, it's 
it's the next day and I am on my way to go and see if I can find more books at the grocery store. So uh, I'll go and see if they have anything else interesting the last time they didn't. So maybe today is the next day by the way. It's like in the morning. It's getting really hot outside so I'm like I remembered why I don't like summer. But yeah. Um, let's just go and see if we can find another book. I hope I do. I really hope I can find more books. I haven't talked to you since I don't even know if I said anything on Tuesday but today's Thursday I'm at work so I cannot really say a lot but I have time off usually between things and um, I will explain one day but I I can read so I hopefully I have to make some progress by the end of the month because I have to finish this by the end of the month so that's what I'm gonna do today and I will update you later when I get home because I got some things and I'm really excited so yeah let's read let's 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 try and make it at least halfway through <laughs> Uh, Friday? Yeah, it's Friday evening and I decided to just come out in the balcony and start reading. I am 214 pages into Oliver Twist and I plan on reading at least 50 pages of sight until at least it gets darker. So yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. I'm loving it. It's really interesting. Uh, I feel really sad for Poor Oliver, he's been through a lot and I kind of want good things to happen to, to him. Like I'm expecting this, I'm waiting for good things to happen to Oliver. But yeah, let's read.
just wanted to give you a little bit of an update with some of the things that I read because I did read some books um, I did finish some books this week and I also got some books so you know let's get, do a little bit of a wrap up kind of and also a little bit of a book haul and I'm currently sweating so okay, on Tuesday night I actually finished The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta. I absolutely loved it. It was so interesting to read. Um, it is a novel in verse, so it's really quick. I highly recommend the audiobook if you want to uh, check this book out. It's definitely um, way better than just reading it. Uh, I feel like the audiobook adds something to it, you know. This book is about uh, Michael and um, we go through this journey with him from his childhood till he gets to college and um, he discovers a lot of things about himself. It has uh, great topics, it talks about what being uh, queer means, what being mixed and queer. Um, he's, uh, he's half Jamaican and half Greek and um, this is something that he talks a lot about. Also, he talks about what growing up without a father figure, because his father is not present into his life. Also, um, as the title says, he goes to college and he becomes a black flamingo, which is his drag name. I like the second part of it better than the first part, because uh, we can finally see himself finding out so many things and being his true self. So yeah. Definitely check that out. Like I said, pick up the audiobook. It's incredible. Another book that I finished uh, on Wednesday is a book that I started, I believe, e at the end of January. I know. January? No. February, I think. Either way, I started a long time ago and I just finished it a Wednesday, on Wednesday. And it's Anne of the Island, which is the third book in the Anne of Green Gables series by L.M. Montgomery. So the first book follows Anne. She's an orphan. She goes to live with this pair of siblings. She's just this special kid. She's just herself all the time. She definitely is such a great character. And also, uh, the writing style is so beautiful. It's like I'm there with Anne all the time. So the first book is about Anne and school and finding friends. And the second book is her going to, I don't know what you call, but she goes for, I believe, a year to study and then she comes back and she is a professor at her old school, actually. And the third one that I finished on Wednesday is all about her going to college for three years. I love that. We have a new set of characters. We still had the ones from uh, Green Gables, but we also had new friends which was really good we also had some other things like some romance in it it was just delightful i love it a lot um some other things was that i just i got i believe halfway through um oliver twist and his life is still miserable i believe it's even more miserable than yesterday <laughs> um wednesday i went to a thrift store and this Thrift store used to have books in English a while ago and then they stopped. So I was just uh, telling to my friend, can we go, you know, can we just go there and see if they still have some books? And guess what? They did. And I was like, ah, so, so happy. I just couldn't believe. And I'm definitely going back. If they will bring, continue to have books, I will always be there, I tell you. And I'm not sure it's a good thing for my wallet, but they were cheap. So yeah, let's do a little bit of a book haul. So the first one is White Thorn Woods by Maeve Binchy, and this is a sh it's not really a short story collection, it's about this uh, sleepy Irish town and um, they want to build a road and that's gonna pass right through these woods and they believe that the woods have um, a spi have spiritual properties. Uh, it's just little stories from different characters. You know, I've seen some people say that they didn't like it because it's just 
a lot of characters but I actually love this type of books and I did love everyone dies famous in a small town and the smell of other people's houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock and just kind of like the same thing it's all about it's a lot of characters and like their stories so I yeah, hopefully I will love this as well but the perfect summer read it's called a summer to remember by Sue Moore Croft, I believe, and this is kind of like a rom-com, probably, that's set in, I have no idea, somewhere that they have holiday cottages, I believe this is the sea, I just love the cover so much, it gives me cottage core vibes, but like not her outfit, but just the house and the flowers and the sand, and look at this, I don't know if you can see, but there's like little beach houses, all this girl that goes to work, um, here or somewhere in this perfect little village it's nestled away on the Norfolk coast we can offer you no signal no Wi-Fi and most importantly no problems and I believe there's gonna be some love a book that I'm loving the cover it's probably my favorite cover that I've seen in a long time is this um, Sea of Lost Love by Santa Montefiore I never heard of this one but look at this cover it's just gorgeous oh my gosh i just love it so much i love the colors i love this a historical fiction set in cornwall in 1958 it's about this woman that is the daughter of an aristocratic family she can't wait for like a summer that it's gonna be full of self-discovery but what happens is that uh, a family member of hers goes missing and drama happens and I believe there's also um yeah there's also love in the last book which I and me and my friend we couldn't believe that I found this but it's a penguin classic not something that I've heard uh, about but it's uh, the last chronicle of Barset by Anthony Trollope it's a beast of a book but what I read is that is the fourth I believe the fourth book in this series and it's the series is the chronicles of barsonshire and you can read this book separately but i don't know what it's about all i know is that it is the fourth book in a series you can read it by itself uh but just so you know that it does have some characters from the other books and some live events that happened in the other books so just a heads up but I absolutely it. I don't know when I'm gonna read it, but it's just it had to come with me home. I believe all of these books were less than a dollar each, so I'm really happy and I'm definitely going back there if they're gonna get more books. I'm so freaking happy. But yeah, now my plan for evening besides sweating and, and waiting for the rain to come which I hope is gonna come really soon because I cannot wait I'm literally boiling I will definitely continue with this and hopefully make some more progress in it